Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review of the Tronfi Mini Projector. You'll receive the projector, 5-foot power cable, 8-inch RCA input cable, 5-foot HDMI cable, a remote control, and an instruction sheet. The projector is fairly compact, measuring 8 inches by 6 inches by 3 inches high. It weighs 2 and a quarter pounds. On the front of the projector is an infrared receiver for the remote control, and next to that the 2 inch lens which comes with a soft silicone lens cap that is not tethered to the unit, so keep track of it when you remove it. The dial behind the lens controls the focus of the image. The power and menu navigation controls are located towards the center of the top of the unit. However, the remote control has additional keys and functions like volume adjustment, fast forward and rewind, and channel selection. The remote requires two AAA batteries which are not included. On the left hand side of the unit is the AC power port, the input VGA plug, and USB port. This USB port can be used as an input source with a USB stick. It also outputs 5 volts 1 amp to charge a mobile device. On the back you have a coaxial cable input, AV in port, headphone output, IR receiver, HDMI input, full size SD card slot, and keystone dial at the bottom for adjusting the pitch if the projector is positioned at an angle to the screen. You've probably noticed that the projector is on a slight incline, and that's because the screw foot on the bottom does not sit all the way flush with the bottom of the unit. The foot can only screw in about a quarter of an inch, putting the angle at about 15 degrees. If you need the projector to sit flat, you have to remove the foot. There's also a standard quarter inch threaded mounting hole for attaching the projector to a tripod, and I find this to be a more convenient option. Towards the back on the bottom is the built-in mono speaker. The power cable on this unit is a bit short, and in most cases, I have to run an extension cord to the projector. The size of the screen is controlled entirely by changing the distance between the projector and the screen. At 1200 lumens, the image isn't very bright during the day, and you'll need near-pitch darkness to get a good quality image. One interesting feature is that when you're browsing video files, the menu will pop up a short preview of the file with audio. How's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review of Aqua Faucet's Kitchen Sink Faucet. It also gives you information about the video like resolution and file size. Here you can see the resolution says 1280 by what should be 960, but it's cut off. However, the max playback resolution for the projector is actually only 800 by 480, so it will scale down higher resolutions accordingly. This means that even if you use the HDMI input for HD 1080p video, like with this Chromecast, you'll see standard definition projected onto the screen. The larger you project the image, the more noticeable individual pixels will be. Overall, the video quality is not bad. The image projected was a bit washed out at first, but with some adjustments and ramping up the color saturation, I was able to get it pretty close to the original footage on my HD monitor. The sound from the unit is expectedly small and boxy coming from the single speaker on the bottom. This is the unicorn float. It's pretty big from the looks of it, and it's made from a heavy-duty vinyl. It weighs four and a half pounds with deflated. You can improve the sound by plugging in an external speaker via the headphone jack. This float is massive. You can see how small the upright piano looks in the background. On me, it comes up to about... I also recommend doing this since the fan on the unit is quite loud, and you'll need to have audio that's loud enough so you can hear over it. In general, the projector works well with a decently rendered image. The resolution isn't high def, but it does work great for stay-at-home movie nights or slideshows. It can even be used for gaming. Just make sure it's plenty dark wherever you plan to use it. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.